Hey everyone, Gaming ADI here. Welcome back to a Foundry. Where in the last episode we made this lovely little temporary base. Um, but just enough to sort of get our research going so that we could get some better stuff. Um, I've had to put in a new one of these, or another one of these, because our power was shocking. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've done that. That's good. So that's done. Um, what else have I done? I've been doing some research. So I've been doing a load of research off camera. Um, so if we look at this now, we can see that I've researched. So I think we did the science pack two and then we got started on conveyor two last time. Um, so since then what I've done is I've been doing a few little bits and pieces, ladders, stairs, signs, just to get them out of the way. Um, which means we will get another one of these going. Let's do that one. Um, I've also got piping, a new ore scanner for mineral rock, ore refinement, which I'll go into in a minute, uh, logic containers, so we can have the belts going into them, high voltage energy grid which means we can start using steam for our energy, explosives, uh, and steel making. So if we take a look at our tree, basically we were up here and we'd done a couple of these um, and we started on that. So I've done that, 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 and all of these down here. And uh, yeah, so that's coming along quite nicely. I've also been looking for places for our new base. So I've done a little bit of running around and scanning and such like that. What was that? Oh, yeah, that was where his thing come down, wasn't it? We'll talk to him in a minute. Um, yeah, so I've done a few bit of scouting around. So if I show you the map, obviously, this is where we are now. This is our base where we've got our ores and everything else coming in. Um, and I've been doing a bit of scouting around, and there's not much technium ore anywhere. Um, so as you can see, I've been right out here. Um, we've got mineral, which is the new, the new ore. We've got some ignium. We've got loads of xenoferrite, but not much in the way of technum. So what I've done is the other technum that I could find was down here. So I've started setting up a base down here. Um, purely because I think it's going to be the easier place. Oh, there's another research done. So yeah, I think it's going to be the easier place to get a new base up and running purely because we've got all three ores there. Um, these are unreachable. I don't know why. Mining force one required. Increase mining force research level to gain access to unreachable resources. Mining force. Hold on, what was that? Mining force. There it is. Oh, wow, that's a long way off. Mining force two. Assuming there isn't a mining force one. Let's have a look. Mining force two. Underground mining. Yeah, no. That's that's a long way off, that is. I mean, we we're construction industry, we're nowhere near that. Nowhere near that. Yeah, long, long way. Okay, well, we ain't going to get those ores then, are we? So anyway, as I was saying, this is where we're going to aim to go for our uh, new base, okay? Um, this grey patch here, you can see I've already started setting up um, the base and the outline. So these ores are going to come in here. These ores are going to come in here. So this is like our little running of ores. Um, we can also bring them in as well down here. And then this is going to be our base. And we're going to set this up going this way. Um, so, yeah, that's that. So let's get another bit of research on the go. And I will take you over there to see it. So to get to the new base, as you can see, there is a big mountain in the way. So what I did is I dug a hole through the mountain. And if we go down these little stairs here, 
rather than going up and over. Oh, there's our research complete. Typical. Rather than going up and over, we can just go straight underneath the mountain. And this would be great because this means I can bring... Um, I could bring a um, power through here, which would be nice. A lot easier than going up and over the mountain. I could just bring power through there and along here, which is what I'm thinking of doing. So I also put down this path as well to go right across the, uh, the water. Because otherwise, again, it's just a pain. This is just so much easier. And then if we come up here, somewhere over here, Is where I've got the new base set up. So like I say, it needs clearing out. And I need to get more bases made up so that we can put it out that way. But this is basically it. I've got a little channel here. Which goes down to one ore. Again, deep enough so we can extend these all the way along. And then if we follow uh, this one. That comes along here. And down to this ore. Which is nice. So all we got to do is get this powered up. And then get some miners in here. I might take that, that section out. I don't know yet. Get some miners in here. Um, and start getting this mined out. And then they'll come along belts. So I'm thinking about getting... To, I'm going to get quite a few mine. Hopefully. I might dig this out a little bit more to reveal all of the ore. Because I want to get around about 9 or 10 miners in there. So it's going to be a lot. Um, I might even bring these steps back a bit. Might bring them back to here, actually. But I don't know yet. Um, and yeah, so I want about 9 or 10 miners in that one. 9 or 10 miners in that one. And then if we do a scan, we've got Ignium ore over here, just below us there. So I'm going to do the same with that one. So that is 139.24, 120. I think the, the 120, the middle number, I think is depth, isn't it? I think. So it's 124, so it's four lower than that is. And that's five lower than that is. So we need a load of these plates, these uh, foundations built. Um, and I need some miners built. So I am going to get on with that. And I will see you guys when it's done. Okay, so this is taking a long old time to do this. But let me show you what I've done so far. So, I've managed to run power from here. Over to where our base is. Now, this doesn't look pretty. But it will do for now. Made a little tunnel there to take it under the hill. Comes out here. And that connects up to the main base here. So this is now all powered, which is nice. And then I've also, as you can see from this, that this is what took a long time to do. Um, I dug this out just a little bit. I found that if we, if you dig this out a little bit more and put these slightly lower down, they actually get more resources from this. When I first started this, I think it was up at up at this level here, um, and they were only collecting like thirty seven resources. I think each one it says like it has a. Like, let me show you. So basically, if we go to that, if I put that down, it says fifty mineable blocks in range there. Whereas over here, it's like 112 mineable blocks. But when I did it before, it was like up here and it had like 37 mineable blocks. So because I've actually um, mined all these blocks out, then these, these I think are seeing 60 odd mineable blocks. I don't think it tells us in there, no. They're all full anyway. So yeah, so 
the more you I found, the more you dig down and expose it, the better it is for the uh, for the miners, I guess. So yeah, and that that's basically as far as I got. This has taken absolutely hours to do. Um, just digging out the ore. Um, so yeah, let's just get rid of these because these aren't needed, are they? That goes down there. So obviously I dug out the ore patch and then realized, shit, I need to put the miners in and then I've got to put the belts and the loaders on. So I had to dig out a lot more than I realized. But it's done now. And the belts go along and up onto our main base. So now I've got to do the same thing. But for the ore that's over here. So yeah, I've got to do the same thing for this patch of ore now. Um, now I was thinking of maybe... Not, it's not time lapse, is it? I'm not doing it time lapse, but speeding up the time. So I might record this. Um, so you guys can see me do it and then just speed up the time and edit. I don't know. I'm going to record it either way. Um, if I leave it in, I'll leave it in. But there you go. So let's get to digging out, shall we?
Okay, so. That. Is that done? I need to get a few more of these. These inserters. But. Um, oh, yes, I can. There we go. Oh, I can get out. <laughs> right, so that's that one done. Like I said, I need to, uh, another five, six inserters. But. Uh, that's crap. Because that is too low. So we're going to have to bring that up another one, aren't we? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I could have should have done that out there, really, shouldn't I? Yes. Right, let's do that. Um, Shift F. All of that disappears. We've got three more of these, so let's go with one there, one there. And then these can shoot off up there at the correct height. Yeah, I knew I was going to run out of belts. Right, so we need some more belts and some more inserters. And that's that one done. We're almost, almost ready to start doing all this stuff over here. And that's where we're going to start putting in the crushers. So over in this base, we've had the miners just go straight into the smelters. Which is great. But if we get crushers, then that takes all the impurities out of the ores. And we get a better... Um, a better output. So, for instance, I think it's... Is it the plates or the rods? Rather than getting out 20 a minute, we get out 30 a minute. I think it only affects one of them, not both of them. Um, but it's better to uh, get the pure ore anyway. So, first things first. Let's do... Let's get some research on the go. Um, so we will get da, 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 da. that's the next one that's going to do everything. So let's get that one going. Basically, there's no real order to do them. I'm just going from the smallest one to the largest one. Let's um, let's shut him up. Okay. Corporate guidelines say we're using suboptimal energy generation methods. Only steam turbines provide maximum efficiency. We need to fix that. Yep, yeah, we will. Are you feeling a little spooked when it's dark? No worries, BB. We can create some light poles to brighten up our nights. Yep, yeah, we will. All right, thank you very much, BB. Okay. So I've added down these three smelters here, just so I can get some plates. Because <laughs> we're having no plates coming in. Um, this is sort of sort of running almost at its optimum, and I've got no spare plates. So uh, let's take that. We'll take that. Take that. Right. So we need another six of these, don't we? Uh, let's do 10, might as well. And then we need more belts. So we get a few more of them, and then we need a load more of them. Right. Um, yep, let's go. Side done. Now we need to do this side. So, that one there, that one there, that one there, that one there, and that one there. All right, let's see if we can get out of this place. There we go. Good, good. All right, belts. 
du, du, du. Right, so belts are now coming in. We have ores coming in. Let's um ba -ba 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 -ba. let's turn that there. Turn that there. And yep, you can go straight down there. And you can go, uh, no, you can't because we're out of belts. Yeah, of course we are. Okay, that's fine. Right. So, next thing is to. How many of these have I got? I've got a few. Have we got enough to get a load of this done? Oops, didn't want to do that. Ah, oh, could get back up there now. There we go. Right. What's that done that side? So now we just need to go around and take out all these trees. Right. That looks good. Obviously, there's not enough here to fill in all these holes. We only have three left. We can fill in some of them. One left. So we're going to need to make some more of these. But for now, I've got no belts either, have I? Okay. Right, tell you what. Leave this with me. I'm going to go and make a load more resources. And then I will bring you back in a minute. Right then, so we are back here. And we are looking good at the minute. So, this is what we've got. So we have our raw ores coming up here. And then they go into these crushers. We've got two belts. We've got eight crushes on each side because apparently one of these belts can feed eight of these machines. And then they come out here, which is the... We have a look at this. So we've got the ore rubble coming out as ore. And because of that, in these machines, we get 30 a minute instead of 20 a minute. So it's well worth using them. Let's take some of these out because they're not actually going anywhere at the minute. And as you can see, our power is strained. We are really close to getting having too much pulling on this power. So obviously this comes into here. Then we got 10 um, smelters which are making the plates. And then over here, we've got exactly the same. But for the other ore. So that goes in, again comes out. I've got to put the uh, the loaders on here, but we've got it going up that way. Again here, it's 30 output. Come on, get in there. So 20 in, 30 out. They go all the way up there. So all I need to do... is put down some of these. One there, one there.
There we go. So that is two of the uh, two. Well, yeah, it's two of the oars being done. We have got another one to come in, which I think I might bring down the middle. I don't know yet, because there's another ore that we can mix with this one, as we did in the other base. And it makes um, a different ore, basically. So I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. We'll have to wait and see. Obviously, I've got enough room to put another whole section of that in and another whole section of that in here if I wanted to, which I might do. Um, because if it comes to it, we could always bring the ores from the other base and bring them up here and have two lines being done. But yeah, so next is going to be, where do we go from here? And I think... Obviously, first of all, I need to build some more bases. Um, we're going to have to slowly shut down the other place. Yes, there we go. Squared it off. Lovely jubbly. So, yeah, we'll be shutting down the other place. And everything will be moving to over here. So we're going to be looking at um, these next and seeing what we're going to put in here. So if we look at these, because um, what I want to start doing is making the bare components. So they're plates. They're just rods. So there's plates, that's rods. So we can put a couple of these. What do they take? 40 in, 80 out. Yeah, that's not bad. And then these ones are 40 in, 40 out. So just those two alone, we could run off one of these. Um, and then just have it run into some storage. There's enough room under here. I could probably put... Oh, there we go. I could probably put storage and have them run off into storage under there. Maybe, maybe, who knows? Right, so that can all keep running. Actually, I might put some storage down now. Just so it does actually keep running. Let's send the... Mind you, our storage is going to fill up really quick, isn't it? I need steel beams for the big one. We haven't started making steel yet. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, so we need that. So that's where we put the Igneum in with the Xenoferrite and it makes steel beams. But that's fine. Okay, cool. What else have we got in here? New stuff. So we've got explosive charges, detonator, paint roller, plumbing tool. Power lines, my watch keeps going off. Right. And then we got the decoration stuff, office furniture, doors, lighting, which is something we need to put up, some lighting, yes. Let's um let's make temp out of those lights. Let's put some lights up, shall we? Where can we put some lights? Put one there. And then one in line with it there. Is that in line? Yep. And let's turn my light off. Oh yeah, they're alright. Can we put them on the corners? Like so. Not bad. Let's put one at the end of this one. I think we've put them in the... 
corners of the machines. I think that'll look quite cool. Shame you can't change the colour of them though. Yeah, that looks alright. Have I got any... No, I haven't got rid of it all. Okay, cool. So I've seen if I had any soil that I could fill that in with, but I haven't. That's fine. Okay. Right, let's have a quick run back to base. The old base, that is. This is going, that's going lovely. Um, lots of space to build up. Right, research. So, we've nearly actually... This is the one that's going to make us continue. But I just want to clear some of these off first. Because why not? Otherwise, they're just going to be sitting there. Because, look, they're all at the end of their tree. Near enough. And otherwise, they're just going to be sitting there. So, we're just clearing off all of them before I go on to that. And then we can get Science Pack 3 up and running. Um, but we'll probably do that in the new base rather than here. So, we do have them. They can go now, can't they? Point is keeping them there. Although I could have used them possibly to... Um, maybe up to the power a little bit. But never mind. It's gone now. Okay, cool. Right. Oh, what do you want? Lights. Oh yes, you've illuminated my perspective. Things are looking exceptionally bright around here. Okay, was that really worth waiting for? Not really. Right, so that's it for today. Um, yeah, I think next time, because believe it or not, I've actually been recording this for about four hours it's taken me just to do that bit over there. That base over there has taken about four hours, which is insane. But hopefully, now we've got the basics over there, I won't have to keep running back here to pick stuff up and go back over there. It's, it should all run nicely now. So that'll be good. So next time, we will start putting in some of these assemblers over there at the new base and start getting stuff made. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, you know what to do. Hit those buttons and I will catch you all in the next episode. See you later, guys.